everybody, and welcome back to GeoGuessr with Strange Lands. We have Talkus. Rejoice! And I am Fixer, and today we're playing another custom challenge this time put forth to us by Slayer43100. Woo! Slayer43100! That, that's a lot of kills. Wow. Indeed. And we have a theme today. We'll call it Theme Wednesday, I guess. Ooh. Theme Wednesday! Da -da 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 -da. Theme Wednesday! Hooray! Yep, the theme would be universities. I'm going to graduate college in six months in six weeks, so I have a unique perspective on this. How does that give you a unique perspective? Because like assuming that it means university is assuming like the level above college, it's like I may or may not elect to go to graduate school because I, I have no idea of what to do in my future. But if I do then I would be looking at universities and if I'm looking at universities I would also be looking at like these universities who would be like connected, you see? I think in America, college and university are kind of synonymous. Well, yeah, t to a certain extent, but then it sort of the say, I get, sort of get the sense like, you know, college is like the lower bit is undergraduate, and then university is graduate. But in the East, like uh, college is graduate, and university is undergraduate, but they're sort of interchangeable, but sort of not. It's weird. Are you ready for the challenge, then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hashtag Team Super Best Friends. By the way, why wouldn't you introduce us as Hashtag Team Super Best Friends? That is annoying to me. We have a team name. It's our brand identity. We need to use it. It's all about branding. Hashtag Good YouTuber. I am Best YouTuber. Because, the, bra because the brand is Strangelands. It just so happens a lot of the limbs have been cut off, and all that's left is part of a torso and a belly button. And yes, you're the belly button. Yay, umbilical cord. Um, well, no, you're, not, you're, you're the button after the cord has been cut. Umbilical cord, no, you were too young to die. All three, right. two, one. Three, two, one, go. All right, universities, how you guys doing? Um, where are we now? That does not help me too much. Oh! The Prudho Bay region of Alaska. Now, that does... From the Earth to the Air. Atlas of Deep Water Environments. So... Seismic expression of stru structural somethings. Um, I don't know if that means that we're in Alaska. I would like to look outside, please. This place is... This place is crazy. Geophysical Atlas, Norwegian, and Greenland Sea. Alright. Look at the Norwegian Sea, folks. Now, I don't know. Columbia University? What? That does, does that actually mean? Compiled by... Can I move around in here, please? Columbia. I don't know if we're in Colombia or if, if we're actually... I don't think we're, we're there. I think we're actually in, like, Greenland. I don't think we're in Oslo either. I am... I am going crazy over in Nook, Greenland. I have a feeling that we're actually not in Colombia. This may have been provided by Colombia. Oh, God damn it! I didn't hit the... the timer. And it may, this actually may be owned by Columbia. Who knows? I don't think we're actually in New York. But I don't know where we're at. I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Hello. That, is, that looks, that looks very English though. Columbia University. Oh, should I do it? This is not New York, though. Look at it out there. Interesting. Why is it on stilts? See, it's on stilts because of snow, right? It's got to be. I 
I would like to go over this way very much. This is a library. Please do not be quiet. What? This place is crazy. I'm not doing it. I, I This is a trick to get me to guess Columbia. Oh, look at all that. Svalbard. All right. Um, I'm going to go over on the east side then. We're going to go over there. There's nobody living up there. Let's go there. Time's up. Make a guess. <laughs> oh, that's because it's Svalbard, the island. Son of a bad word. All right, so there was a lot of misinformation there. Did you notice? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was very... Because there was Columbia University in there. So I don't know if that was provided by Columbia University, if the place is owned by Columbia University. I don't know. But what I did was I kind of... I imagine that, like, that book was published by Columbia University Press or something. I don't know. That's pretty much what I concluded as well. There was a lot of stuff in there for the Arctic, basically. And I kind of, I believed more the, the, the Norwegian Sea stuff. So I guess on the east coast of Greenland, I saw Svalbard, but for whatever reason, it didn't register to me to, to that Svalbard was that island. Which is funny because we've been there like three or four times, right? So 1927, how about you? Yep. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was tempted to guess, uh, C Columbia University in New York. And I looked out the window and it was very much not New York. Right, right. Um, I was going to guess the, uh, the university in Nuke, the capital of, uh, Greenland. But then at the last moment I saw Savalbard and I was like, maybe it's Savalbard. I don't know. Um, so I went over to Savalbard. And I ended up guessing the uh, building that is at the university center in Svalbard. I was zero. Po I was zero point zero nine six kilometers away for uh, six four seven one points. Go me. Nice. My original guess was Nuka as well, but I went on the eastern side because there was Norwegian sea stuff. Yay, York Bernison. All right. Well, I accidentally clicked on the next one, but I'm looking at the pavement right now. So three, two, one, go. Okay. Where will we be? Um, Spanish or Portuguese? Where is the sun then? Sun is... To the south. Hello, flag. I would like to see more of you. I cannot see more of you. What is that? What kind of flag is that? There's a Canadian flag. And what is this? What flag is that? What is this place? I don't know. Um, at least I hit the timer this time. How about that? Uh, McGill something Maurice. Okay. Transport... Is it Spanish? That looked French there. This is very old buildings. Holy cow. Can I get somewhere else, please? What else do we got? Welcome! McGill University. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know. I do not know where this place is. Scotia? Alright. Let's go down here. We're gonna go with Nova Scotia. I don't know where McGill University is, but I feel pretty good about about this being in Nova Scotia then. So I'm gonna stick with that. Time's up. Make a guess. Um... Well, it was McGill University, but I don't know where McGill University is. We we were in Canada. Um, there was French, which I originally thought was Spanish. There is French, and I saw something that said something Scotia. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll just guess in Dartmouth and, and 2266. How about you? I guessed in France. 
I should not have done that because France does not have skyscrapers like that. But yeah, I put Paris. I'm. Well, there's some really old buildings in there. Me, uh, I don't know. I... Maybe old for Canada, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess Paris, and that wouldn't be Paris. Although maybe, I don't know. One, three, six, seven. There you go. Points. My parents will be going to Paris in a week. Fun fact. Sounds like fun. Never been. Well, neither have I. I've there. never been to France. There you go. Yeah. Next round, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right. SVS. I something, something, something. I can't tell what that says. Let's take a quick look around. Emergency. So we have some English signs. All right. Vanderbilt. I don't remember where Vanderbilt is. Um, Is it in California? I don't remember. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know. Part of me screams that it is in California. Part of me screams like Virginia. Vanderbilt. I don't know. Hello, people. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I want to say California. I just don't remember where it is. I knew at one point, but back when I used to follow college basketball, but shit, I don't remember. I'm just going around in circles here. This is not helping. I didn't hit the timer either. How amazing am I? Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't remember. This is... This is obviously not a school day, I guess. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of people out here. We got about 20 seconds. I don't know, man. I, I would say, if I were to guess, I would say outside San Fran, maybe. I don't know. Part of me says Virginia. Another part of me says, like, Indiana or Illinois. Shit. I don't remember. I'm going with California. Time's up. Make a guess. Oh, wow. Well, I couldn't remember where Vanderbilt was. So I was all over the place. I'm like, is it California? Is it Virginia? Uh, part of me even thought it was <laughs> in Indiana or Illinois. It's in Tennessee. I can't remember shit. So 1777. How about you? I, uh... I didn't see any signs denoting the college that we were at. Um, I just thought knew that it was a college, a uh, university made largely of brick, and uh, the only brick university I've been to was Notre Dame. So I guess Notre Dame got two, three, five, four points. I think um, I think you will find a lot of brick in universities, especially in the Midwest. Some of the older ones. Mm. Oh, Midwest, interesting. I would have thought that would be more of a New Englandy thing, but yeah. Well, I guess New England as well, but I know I've been to a few in the Midwest, and like I've been to Ohio State and Michigan and Michigan State and I know that old buildings. Butler, well, Butler University only has a one brick building. The rest of it is made of a good old Indiana limestone. Yo, and that's uh, that's the IU too. And IU is all Indiana limestone. Yay, Indiana limestone. There was a there was like a sign stapled to like a telephone pole, some kind of. Sign it said Vanderbilt on it in pretty small letters. That's how I figured it out. But it didn't help me because I couldn't remember where it was. I wouldn't know either. Oh well. I, um, I've been to Nashville. Huh? I've been to Nashville. Remember that? I remember. I remember we had a Nashville. We we get we had a guest in Nashville during one of the guests that Brian was with us. Remember Brian? I love Brian. 
Are you ready for the next round? You know, I was going to win a bingo seed last week, and then Brian came and he beat me. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I guess he's ready. <sighs> what do we got here? Warm weather. Doesn't look American. I didn't mean to zoom in. That was really weird. Zoom back out, please. It won't let me zoom out. Zoom. Is this it? This is it? Okay. Um, I don't know. College for Design and Social Inquiry, Lynn College of Nursing, Schmidt Arts and Letters, Library Ritter Art Gallery. I do not know any of those, so that does not help me. However, Florida Atlantic University is a good indicator on where exactly we're at. Of course, I don't know where, where the Atlantic University is. Um, where would that be? I could see it being in Fort Lauderdale. Is this old? Hold on. How old is this? I don't think this is very old. Traffic and parking. Southern Florida kind of has, has the... It's calling to me. I'm going to stick with that. And I didn't hit the timer. I am awful at this game now. It's what happens when you haven't played it in three months. You don't remember the timers. Is this... No, it's not a dead end. I would like to go forward, please. No, get rid of the bar. I would like to get on the road. Thank you. All right. Let's go this way. Shuttle stop. Something Express Shuttle Service. Okay. What the hell's going on? Why am I stuck in this corner? Florida Atlantic University. Yes, but I would like to know where the city is. Dade. That is in Miami. Okay, so we're going down here now. Well, Fort Lauderdale is there. It's all in Dade, right? Because Dade is the county. Dade is pretty massive, if I remember correctly. But I think I'm going to go towards Miami rather than Fort Lauderdale. Pompano Beach. No, I'm going to go with Fort Lauderdale. I think that's kind of in the middle. Metered. Any city, guys. Of course, Dade Avenue doesn't really mean too much. It could just... I don't know. Let's go this way. It's not the way I came, is it? Follow you. All right. Well, that doesn't tell me anything either. Time is up. Make a guess. Well, there were lots of signs that said Florida Atlantic University. Um, I do not know where that is, but two of those words kind of help you out a little bit. I did find a road called Dade Avenue, so I guessed near Fort Lauderdale, 4823. How about you? I uh, went up the Atlantic Coast of Florida until I found the college. They're 0 0.203 kilometers away for 6462 points. I guess I could have done that too. It's not exactly the longest of coasts. No. Oh, oh well. Uh, do we got one more? We got one more. Indeed. Three, two, one, go. Indeed. Okay, so far, celebrating what? Oh, oh, hello there. I know where you're at. I know this place. Well, I don't know this building, but um, that would be right around here. There you go. This is University of Texas, but I don't know where is this in. I'm guessing Houston. But I don't know which building in Houston, because I've been here. Um, I, this could be in Austin, though, because this doesn't look like Houston to me. Uh, I did not know that Envy Anderson had places in Austin, though. But, uh, you know, I could be wrong. 
For now, though, I'm sticking with Houston until I can find something that tells me we're in Austin. Houston. All right. So this is actually not the University of Texas. This is the University of Houston. But MD Anderson is part of University of Texas. So that's interesting. But then again, in this area, this is all like all this area. There's tons of universities involved here. So again, that doesn't really help me on, as to where I am exactly. Um, University of Houston Hilton? University Drive. Um, That's not going to help me. I didn't hit the timer. God, plus America. Let me get to a major road and then I might be able to help myself. Calhoun. I know Calhoun. I just don't know where it is. I think... Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I want to say over here. See, there's Rice. See, there's, there's University of Houston over here. I don't think this is where we're at, though. Wheeler, Cullen. This is the University of Houston, but I don't think this is... Oh, there's Calhoun. All right, well, I was wrong. So we're at University in Calhoun then? Okay, well, maybe that helps me out a little bit. Return to start. Okay. So where are we at? Are we like right in here? The library? Where's the library? Barnes & Noble, Welcome Center, North Campus, I Institutes, Moody Towers, Lynn Park, Cullen Performance Hall. There we go. All right. It's time's up anyways. Time's up. Make a guess. All right. Well, 0.126 kilometers away, 64, 68. There's a lot of universities in this area. And not just universities, but like branches of other universities. Because um, to the west is, is the medical center, which is one of the largest in the world. And there's universities up the ass all over. And I saw MD Anderson, so I thought at first it was Texas. But then I saw the university... See how... The MD Anderson Library. Anyway, I saw University of Houston stuff. And I went over to the University of Houston. And there you go. 64, 68. Um, Tolks Valiant got 64, 60. Because I guessed in the place. Yeah. Oh, so you found it? Yeah, well, I... I first saw, I thought it was UM, so I was going to guess the University of Maryland. And then I decided to look for another clue. So I saw UH, and then I was going to guess University of Y. And then I saw a sign saying Houston. So I was uh, going, so then I zoomed into Houston, and I saw University of Houston. So I guessed there. Yeah. And also, I was, there was a moment where I was going to guess uh, Washington, because I saw a sign saying Coolin, but I didn't. Calhoun. Coolin. Coolin. Oh, Cullen. Coolin. It's pronounced Cullen. Because, uh, yeah, Cullen, because uh, for, you know, Cullen, Washington, you get the connection. Uh, no, what? The uh, Edward Cullen. The Edward Cullen? Yeah. You know? No, I don't remember. Uh, it's, it's the last name. Edward Cullen is the uh, vampire from Stephanie Meyer's uh, Twilight Saga, and he lives in Washington. So there. <laughs> I can't believe... You never read the Twilight Saga, Fixer. Did it you actually? Did you actually read the Twilight Saga? Maybe. <laughs> How much? Maybe. Uh, the first book. Oh, it wasn't good enough I, to read the other books. I actually didn't think Twilight the book was that bad, to be honest. But whatever. Um, like like the romance bad bit, bit is pretty bad, but like the world building is good. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, this this for, is going on the internet. You know, you're, you're going on record. You know. Yeah, I, I I'm proud. I, I stand by my uh, my my Twilight Attitude. Good good book series. Best book series. Na. Uh, and YA. One, one, YA. I yeah yes YA also yes. Uh, I received two three one one four points. Two three one one four what? Two, three, one, one, four off, like, for the whole thing. Oh, this is the end. Okay, I got 17, 261. 
Man, Matt White, you gotta step up your game. You really are a, a light. The Vanderbilt uh, one Matt screwed me. You? The Vanderbilt one totally annihilated me. If if, if my memory served me, I, I may have done better there. And you uh, and you guessed uh, Quebec too, didn't you? Well, I oh, guess yeah. Nova Scotia. Oh. We, why not Quebec? Because there was a sign that said something Scotia, and I'm like, I'm going to go over to Nova. Oh. And Dar- Dartmouth That's sounds like a sense. town that would have... That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yes, and Dartmouth sounds like a, a town that would have some kind of university in it. There is a Dartmouth University, yes. Yes. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for the continuation uh, for... Well, if this was University Wednesday, thank you for... I. Bye, people. Bye.